Hi everyone, this is Sylvie from Pilates and Yoga with Sylvie. Another Pilates routine for you for today, obliques and upper abdominals. That's the, um, that's the game for today. So um, let's go ahead and start. Please, please make sure that you have warmed up uh, appropriately already. So if you haven't done a warm up, you can find one of mine up there. All right, so we're gonna start in a sidling position. I'd like you to start, lay yourself down the right side of your body. Allow your legs to be nice and long. Uh, stack them feet, the feet, the hips one on top of the other and eventually the shoulders. So if you can maybe extend your bottom arm, make it nice and long and I have to relax on top of your uh, arm and then place your hand that's free just in front of you. Take a nice big breath in. On the out breath, put the navel towards your spine, create that 30% engagement uh, in your core and your pelvic floor that we're normally looking for. And remember to breathe in lateral thoracic breathing. So when you're ready, breathe in. And then breathe in out to allow your top foot to lift up just about hip high. So find that balance. If you need to, you can bend your bottom leg slightly. Relax the foot down on the in breath and lift the leg up again on the out breath. Good. So just to hip high, start to feel the muscles in your hips and your inner outer thighs. Keeping the hips square and the lower side of the body away from the floor. So the top shoulder may start to round, make sure that it stays above the bottom. And the next time, as you lift your leg up, just hold it there. I'd like you to take a little touch towards the front of the ribs, front of your mat. So touch the foot down and bring it back. And again, touch the foot down and bring it back. So you can use your hands to hold onto the wall or the floor, but try not to let the foot or the hand to grip into the floor and then almost holding on like that. Good. So next time, if you want to take it fully, touch down in the front, bring the leg back, and then touch down behind you and bring the leg back. So you're going to touch and take a little touch behind. So it's just a little bit of a touch, a full semicircle we draw with the foot. And you can stay here, or you can maybe start to increase the height of your circle. So you, if you might find it challenging a bit more on one side. It's definitely my challenging side. So you go as far as you want to do. So keep in the hip bones as much as possible, facing forward. And then during the circles, two more. While you're working here, don't forget to breathe. This is your last one. Nice, you bring the leg back. Stop here. And allow the foot to lower back and down. Great work. Let this top knee come in front of you. Give yourself a little rub, maybe a little massage. And then when you're ready, Swing your legs around so you are going to face the opposite side and then coming into a seated position. So you're going to anchor down through the sit bones, bring the feet and the knees together. And we do just gentle half a roll ups. Um, so we're going to find our long spine first, feet and knees together, toes may lift off the ground. And you're going to let the arms reach out in front of us, shoulders relax away. Take a big breath in, tuck your chin in, round through the back of the body, tucking the pelvis under. And come into just about half a roll up. So you're going to roll back gently and then slowly find your way back to center. Let your shoulders relax away. Good. Now, if it feels possible for you, maybe bring the palm of your hands together, maybe interlace your fingers, and then slowly pull back, feel them right into the back of the body, open it up with the shoulder blades, tuck your chin and look towards your chest or belly, and then back to center. Good. This is going to be the base that we use. So you're going to slowly roll back, your legs more straighter. And then next time we are going to add a little rotation. So we're gonna slowly roll ourselves back. We're gonna stay here, and we're gonna take a little look over towards the left side. Come back to center, and take a little look over to the right. Good, come back to center, and find your way back to, the, to all the way up to seated. Reset, extension of the spine, and then let's go again. Tuck in the chin, round, bring the belly in, and then take a little look over. Keep the legs exactly as it is, and then the other side. Beautiful, well done. So we're gonna add a little bit more. Next time, you're gonna bring the hands towards your chest, palms together just in front of your heart. Slowly roll back, find your curl. Find a position where you can comfortably hold, and then take a little look over to the right side. If it's possible, maybe open your arms nice and wide. Bring your hands back, find the center. Repeat on the other side. So the twist. Open, keeping the same position through the spine, bringing the hands back and center, then slowly find your way back 
and we let the shoulders away. And we go again, hands to chest, like a prayer position. Twist to the side, open the arms, hands back to center, and other side. So we twist, open, twist. It's important to keep the belly in a rally for the back. And we just got one more to go. Again, adding on, slowly rolling the back, running the back. Twist, and we're gonna open for three, for two, for one. If it's too much, you can change, take, take a little break. Other side, three, two, one, center, reach forward and up, slide the legs away, bring those hands behind you, and let the stretch open up the front of the body. Take a little reach over with your right arm, like a long stretch, relax the arm and then the other side, side bend. Great work. Let the arm relax down and then open up towards me, coming into a so. So the legs going to come into a nice wide legged position. Open legs. So the sit bones are anchored down. Are coming into your so. So you're going to find the legs nice and wide. Take a big, beautiful breath in, and then with the arms or the with the uh, upper body, uh, relax. Let the arms open up nice and wide. So the fingers just align with your shoulders. Arms nice and relaxed. Make sure the spine is long. The belly is pulled in nice and tight. So you're going to twist towards your right leg. Take a big breath in to twist towards your right leg. On your breath out, reach your left hand across to the outside of the right uh, foot. Breathe in to reach up, but keep the twist and breathe out to find your way back to the middle. And we do this on the other side. So you're going to breathe in to turn, breathe out to reach, back arm long and straight, breathe in lift, and then on the out breath we twist. So your aim is to fold your upper body over your leg. It doesn't matter if you can't get the arm across towards the outside of your foot. Your sit bones stay down. So when you reach the arm across, you're not gonna let the opposite side of the bottom lift off. Good, so you got two more like this. Option, as you reach across, add the pass. You're gonna go one, two, lift, center. Long spine, chin tucks in, and then tip right from the hip. Maybe three pass. Let's go for it. One, two, three, lift. And the last one, rounding through the back of the body. And find your way back and down with those arms. Take a little roll if you need to for the shoulders. Swing your legs across towards the uh, other side. So you are lying on the right side or left side of your body. And let's do the opposite side. So this exercise is from American Pilates called the hot potato. So the bottom arm is nice and long and straight, palms towards the ceiling, head relaxing on top of it, everything is nice and um, square towards the front, belly engaged, side of the body lifting off. When you're ready, breathing out, lifting the top leg just about hip high. That's it, and the lower back and down. So you're gonna let the leg lift and slowly relax in your own tempo. Start to feel what muscles are awake in your legs. Make sure that it's not floppy, so it's in a nice strong position, pointed or flexed. So I like to keep it flexed to make sure that I feel the strong position. The next time you lift and you're gonna let the toes touch down in front of you. Bring the leg back and maybe down. And then lift again. Touch down, bring it back and down. This is your practice run. See how your body feels. Your uh, toes gently touch the ground as you bring the leg forward. And it's not a massive lift, all right? So start nice and easy. If you want to experiment, touch down in front of you. Then as you slide the leg back, touch down behind you. And again, touch down in front of you, touch down behind you. So which one is this side? Stronger side or weaker side? So I feel a bit more confident than on the other side. Still able to work hard, day. Eh? So if you feel the confident, you might try to increase the circle. 
keeping the shoulders and hips square so there's a big chance that your upper body wants to twist here let's do four more keep the breath flowing you can stop you know, stay with the only the front taps or you draw a semicircle with your foot so one more lift it hold it here and touch it back in down great well done knee comes in out in front and a little tap or a little release massage if you need it and then lift yourself up and coming into the full kneeling position hands on the shoulders knees underneath your hips so working into the obliques so you're going to use a single leg at a time when you feel ready and your arms are anchored your eye your eye is focusing just in front of your fingertips the belly quad in tight hips are square take an in breath and then breathe out to extend your uh, right leg behind you so you uh, can stay here or you can maybe lift the the leg so um if you are um able to hold this nice and strongly we're going to bring the knee into uh, a position where you contract your obliques so you're going to breathe in breathe out to bring this right knee towards the outside of your right elbow then extend your leg behind you touch or no touch and bring this knee across towards the other side of the opposite knee so across the body and then again outside of the knee extend behind across the knee extend behind four more outside reach across and reach good now if you want a little bit more than this you can come back to center and lift up fully into full plank so you will still do the outside across and down outside across and back one more hold it down relax your knees if you're up and push your hips right behind you take a nice long stretch and let's do this on the other side so you've got uh, six rounds all together we're going to start off with the knees this time the left knee so reset left knee extend your leg behind you left knee comes to the outside of the left elbow across and back so outside across that's it now you can stay with this one or you can lift up for the last couple or maybe three if you are up in your full plank do not let your hips sag put the belly in strong longer long straight back and then find your way back and down allow the hips to push back great work well done you're gonna finish this with the last little bit of a combination and this time we're going to do three knees at a time so the same knee gonna go outside across outside then we swap side two rounds all together so four reps okay do side video you want to be knees or toes and we're gonna go right side first so the right knee outside of right knee left knee right elbow and back left side left elbow right elbow left and back two more keep the strength in the core and if you're down on the knee you can still bring it across engaging your obliques hold here let the knees touch down push back a little bit and allow the back of your hands to touch the ground one at a time opposite uh, option here is to have a little roll for the wrists good work so swing your legs around and then let's come into a uh, Lying position, supine, feet if it's apart, arms your legs by the side of your body. So we're going to keep uh, moving and uh, working into the obliques, but before we do that, we're going to get into your position. So your feet are going to be about if it's apart, arms going to relax nice and wide on this one. So the arms can put up towards the ceiling and nice wide, just in line with your shoulders. Let the shoulders relax, engage your belly. I saw you show you the option what you can do on the ground if it's getting too much. So take an in breath on the out breath. Allow your right knee to simply open up, keeping the left knee exactly where it is. So you might come onto the edge of the foot. Now bring this right knee back to the center and let the left knee to roll out to the side and bring it back. So your op your uh, challenge here or your job here is to keep everything in the center as your knee move. 
the whole of your body wants to move with it. So I want you to try and keep the rest of the body stabilized and anchored into the floor. One more round of this. this we can also take this as a nice and gentle relaxation exercise in between. And then as you come back, hold it here. So you've got the option to come up with me to tabletop. So when you're ready, on your other breath, right leg, left leg, bring the shin approximately in parallel with the floor. Good. And you can bring your knees and your feet together if that feels comfortable. We'll allow the shoulders to relax. So you're going to do it exactly the same to start with, just to get those hips open up. So breathe in. And then let this right knee open up. Keep the left leg as still as possible. Bring it back to center. And then the same on the other side. And you may that see that this is completely um, um, always quite challenging on one side more than the other. So see if you can stay uh, nice and strong, keeping the lower back towards the ground. Good. So next time, let's take a change. Bring the right leg out and hold it there. Now can you keep your shoulders anchored down and bring the left knee on top of the right, so bring the knees together. Then bring the right knee back to center and bring the right knee meeting the left. And the same side, right knee out, left knee meets the right, left knee back, and then right knee comes back to center. Good, keep going. So just on this side, this is your second level, or your second option. And then I've got one more for those of you who want to work harder. So as you out, come out, hold it there. See if you can slide the legs away, the legs are 45. Bring them back in, and then one by one return to the center. Good, four more to go. So you're gonna go right, left, both legs push away, feel the pull on the left side, keep the shoulders down, and then one by one bring the legs back to center, slowly, nice and controlled. Good. So again, try to keep the shoulders down as you extend your leg, and this is too much. You can choose to just go with one leg, or no legs at all, just hold it maybe for a little while longer. This is your last one. Push those legs away. Bring in the knees back. And then one by one return. Beautiful work. Now if you do need a break, bring those uh, knees wide and the feet towards the bottom. Or simply take a little windscreen wiper. You go to the other side. Finish it off straight away. So table top, or you can stay on the ground if you need a rest. You can maybe do half of it and just change if you need a rest. So let's go for it. Left side. You're going to bring the left knee with the right knee. Left knee back. Right knee back. So rolling onto the outside edge of your uh, left hip. And then when you bring the right hip off the ground, you still got strong engagement in the core. So you should feel the engagement on the left side of the obliques working strong as you're leaning towards it, into it. Good. One more plane like this. Try to work with that breath as well. The breath is not just coming in whenever it wants to. Good. Last time or next time, we're going to hold it here. And we're going to let those legs slide away. Bring the legs back. And then one by one, return. Good job. Let's go again. One, two, slide. Bring it back. Slowly find the back of the right hip. And then the back of the left. Good. Two more like this. And if you want to work with double legs, all the way through, because you got used to that, that's okay. Last one. Single leg or double leg is your option. Control over it and finish. Great work, well done. Now the feet to come back and down, open the arm, the legs, bring the sole of your feet together. Maybe take a nice long stretch through the arms and the upper body. And this is where you're gonna finish with a bit of upper body work, upper abs. So the feet hip fits apart. And you're going to bring the arms just above your head, bringing the palms together. Let the shoulders uh, relax. So the palms can stay together, or you can interlace the fingers, it's totally up to you. We're taking a nice long reach up and across above your head, or uh, over your head, breathe in. 
And breathe in out, tuck your chin and slowly curl through the upper body. At the crunch as you reach the hands towards the, uh, towards the middle of the legs. And then slowly reach up and across and then crunch again. This is great for your upper abs, but we're going to add the combination to engage your obliques as well. So next time as we crunch up, we bring the hands to the outside of the right knee. So we're going to crunch outside the right knee, back and down outside of the left knee. Good. One more time like this. And then why don't we do a little combination of all. Now remember to keep the low back down. And the next time, as you crunch up, you're going to find hands outside of the right knee to the middle, outside of the left knee, and down, opposite side. Left, middle, right, and down. So you go up as high as you feel comfortable. Now remember, this is a crunch, not a sit-up. So always change side, right, left, right. Oh, sorry, right, middle, left, and left, middle, right. Your aim is to push your ribs down towards the hips. You've got two more rounds to go. So when you go right, middle, right, left, you go like a little passes, and you're going to stay up with the shoulders down. Last two. Finish here. Reach the arms above, take the legs away, and take a full deep body stretch, stretching everything out from the center. Give yourself a nice little hug, and bring the knees towards your chest, you may curl up, and have a little roll side to side. Roll yourself over. And that's the end of your session for today. So if you uh, do need a bit more stretches, you can absolutely do one of the little um, stretching sequences I've done um, as an addition. Maybe if you just do a few of the stretches to help you loosen out your hips, your back. So thank you for uh, joining me this session. If you've got any questions, comment, feedback. I would be happy to hear about it. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can do that by pressing that little button. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Thanks for joining. Bye.